do you consider to be the single most positive contribution you've made to humanity? No small question. <laughs> no wrong answer. It's <laughs> your contribution. Maybe well, you haven't made it yet, but I want to answer. Yeah, no, I don't know if I have. Um, I, I do feel like recently in the last, you know, two years to 18, 18 months to two years of my life, I've been through a couple of things that have made me question who I am and mm -hmm. uh, what is authentically me. And I don't know yet what that is, but for the first time I've been really asking myself, are you doing that because you think other people want you to, should other people want you to do it? Or are you doing it because you really believe like it's the right thing for you to do? Mm -hmm. And again, that's an evolution as well. Um, but I do feel like the metacognition <laughs> of that mm -hmm. is, is probably the biggest step that I've made in my personal development, you know, appreciating that I am different. I do things differently. I don't fit a, a pre-existing mold, whether it's a pre-existing mold for a dancer or a pre-existing mold for an artistic and executive director, um, a pre-existing role for a man. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I am, I'm, I am different to everyone else and I should honor that difference mm -hmm. and, and share that difference with other people. I think it's so important today. Well, when I did my research on you and, and thought of you as a very wise addition to the library, Moxie Talk Library, the two words that kind of came to mind were you're a positive enigma, and I don't think I've ever used <laughs> that. That's what I see and sense when I've read about you and watched some things and talked yeah. to you, you know. It's just there's a, there's a positive enigma. I don't know <laughs> if that's even the right two words to put together, but that's what it feels like. To yeah, me. I, I cop a lot of flack from my staff for that enigma part. They don't <laughs> love that so much. Yes, um, uh -huh. <laughs> they'll probably watch this. They'll so. probably watch this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm trying, to, I'm trying to break that down. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that there's that positive mm -hmm. aspect to it because I do want that, um, th that those values are in, have been instilled in me by my family uh, and I love that I get to bring them. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to be a good person. Uh, the enigma part, you know, I, I am, I believe absolutely 100% an introvert in an extrovert's life. Um, so wow. I'm, I'm in a role that requires this kind of dialogue. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm in a role that requires me to lead, to stand out in front of people and inspire them mm -hmm. to do their best and bring their best and to take risks on stage you know um, so I have to be outside of myself uh, I need to give a lot uh, but the introvert in me needs that quiet space um, and the perfectionist in me you know tears tears me down every now and then and says mm -hmm. you're not good enough to be out there you know speaking what you're speaking and walking the walk you're walking so just sit down and stop you know you're not good enough you'll never mm -hmm. be good enough and mm -hmm. you know then there's the, you know there's the fraud in me the the person that feels like I'm a fraud that says you know you gotta you gotta be, be more real than that you know until you've got your real real then don't show anyone mm -hmm. but authenticity authenticity mm -hmm. but I, I guess the the authentic part of me right now is is acknowledging the evolution that that I'm not finished and I'm not going to be finished. And, you know, I, 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 I always do say that there is as much art in the process mm -hmm. as there is in the product. I love the idea of welcoming people into the rehearsal studio to watch the, these magical moments that happen in the studio that you never see on stage. Mm -hmm. They'll never be on stage because stage is different to the studio. And I guess my life is kind of the same thing. You know, there is as hopefully as much authenticity in my finding my authenticity as there is in whatever it might be. Um, yeah, it's it's difficult to to ta it's new for me as well. So tackling that whole enigma thing is mm -hmm. is tough. But I have great people around me supporting me as I try and figure out what that is uh, in a in a kind of new age of leadership where I don't feel like you have to be perfect. I do feel like you can be kind of getting a bit messy and still have people Amen. inspired yeah. by you. Mm -hmm.